Hi guys, um, I'm Danielle. Thank you for tuning back in. Uh, today we're going to do a Birchbox unboxing. Um, Birchbox is a $10 a month subscription service. They supply you with like four to six samples. Sometimes like you'll get a full size uh, item. However, not really that often. So anyway, here it is. Uh, this one was a little bit different. I ended up you, uh, getting the uh, editor's collection, like curated collection. So this is a Madman, Madman expi uh, inspired uh, box. So, and here's a little card for it. Uh, I guess Madman is on their last season, which is sad because if you haven't really watched it, it's a really great series. Um, I think I watched like clear up to like the fourth season. And then I just somehow got out of it. But um, I miss it. Everyone needs a Dawn Draper in their life. And there should really be more Dawn Drapers out in this world. So anyway, <laughs> um, let's get started. Um, the first thing I have is the 12 Benefits uh, Instant Healthy Hair Treatment. Uh, it looks like this. Um, I think it's supposed to be sort of like uh, it's a 10. Though, I think this may be a little bit cheaper. Mm, this one, this says the full size is $21. Um, I don't know how big the full size is, but I know like the large bottle of like the It's a 10 is almost like 40. So, um, I mean, if the size of this is comparable to the size of the It's a 10, I may actually purchase this because I did actually like it. Um, like it just spraying in the ends of my hair and like along the top because I get like some crazy flyaways up here but um yeah so that's that next thing we have is the not soap radio um it's uh in bathing with sharks for that competitive edge at work and or play and let's smell it and it's a very light scent kind of fresh um Maybe, I don't know, maybe like a little beachy sort of thing. Um, oh, look at that. Beach in sky blue water. So, yeah, I mean, it just does have a, like a really fresh, light, 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 fresh scent. It's like almost like if you actually used it, I don't think it would compete with your perfume or anything. So that's really good. Uh, I'll probably end up putting this in my like little bug out bag or whatever, you know, just if we do happen to go like on a short trip or something. So that's really good. The next thing I have is the Cynthia Raleigh Brightening Illuminator. Um, it just comes in this little thing, like one of those little perfume sample th looking cartons. But um, uh, there it is. And it's got the little facial diagram. So you know how to map out your face, I guess. Which is ridiculous, because I remember when I was little, not little, <laughs> like two years ago, I'd, my makeup would take 10 minutes to put on, like from start to finish. And I was out the door. And now, oh my gosh, like it takes me like an hour and a half for my makeup. And I mean, I could probably get it done faster, but there's just something about being able to like take your time and enjoy yourself and like relax and have a little bit of me time. So my 10 minutes has pretty lately went to an hour and a half <laughs> to an hour and 45 minutes. So yeah, but um, let's see what this looks like. So how long does it take you guys to get ready, like for your face? Um, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm a little bit nervous to see because I'm thinking that I'd, I'm not as cute as I think I am if it takes me an hour and a half to put on my makeup. But um, here is the illuminator and it's pink. And uh, uh, you know, I don't know if it's picking up, but I don't know. It's it's pretty. Um, I'm always afraid of pink highlighters because I'm afraid because I already have like pink tones in my face. So I'm afraid if I add any more pink to it, 
that I'm gonna look a little bit like clownish or like I'm from the 80s because of everything's being frosty so I mean that's my own personal phobia um, I don't know if I'm wrong in assuming that or not but I typically go for like like champagne-y or golden highlighters and I probably shouldn't do golden since I have pink undertones I don't know how does that shit work let me know and the last thing I have is this little pillow box. Um, I always love pillow boxes. Does anyone else like get a kick of the little pillow boxes? I don't know. I like this color. I like mint green. Um, but yeah, fan of the pillow box right here. And it looks like there's two things. Uh, the first thing I have is the clean perfume um let's see it it's probably yeah it's just the original uh it's supposed to oh it's inspired by soap so i guess if you're done taking a bath shower whatever and you don't smell soapy enough then just slather this on and you'll be full of soap i don't know i mean yeah it's total soap Oh, shit. Yeah, that was probably a really smart move right there. <coughs> Definite soap. Yeah, like... Really heavily lemon scented, I think. Of course, I did put quite a... Did accidentally get a few drops on me, but... Yeah, it's definite lemon. <laughs> like, um... It reminds me of dishwashing detergent that you put in the dishwasher uh, the one that's lemon scented um, yeah so um, that's a little unfortunate so maybe it'll be better once it wears down a little but I don't know about that because it is total dishwashing de dishwasher detergent and the next thing I have is the Laka and Company lip lube um i don't know if that's how you pronounce it laca laca um let's see what it looks like um it's pretty light i mean i i usually like more intense opaque color on my lips but i don't know anyway that's it um like it's just a really light pink like, it looks pink, but I could see where it could maybe look a little bit, like, lilac-y. Um, I'm sure if you wore, like, more purple, it would pull purple. Or if you wore pink or any other color, light color, it may pull more pink. But, um, anyway, we'll try it. Um, if nothing else, I'll just throw this in my purse for when I need something on my lips, but I don't have anything. So... And that color should pretty much go with anything. So, that's my box, um, I believe. Yep. Um, all in all, I'm, I'm pretty okay with this box. Um, I mean, it's got a little bit of everything. It's got hair stuff, bath stuff, makeup. Um, yeah, it's good. Usually, I don't mind birch box. And, like, I usually love any box that doesn't include hairspray, and shampoo and conditioner. Uh, I just hate when I get shampoo and conditioner in my box, in any boxes, because, well, I, I don't really wash my hair that often because of having curly hair. But um, anyway, yeah, so it was a good box. Um, I really love Birch Box. Um, so tell me what you got in your box and what your favorite product is that came in your box. Uh, let me know, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.